Good afternoon everybody. How are you today? How has your day been? Welcome. This afternoon I am making some meatballs. So the other day I found in the top of our freezer in our car that some of the meat had gone a bit soft and the top ones were all mince. So last night you saw me make the savoury mince and uh, the beautiful pasta. Some of you guys would have jumped over to YouTube and watched me make pasta in the thermo server. Well, tonight, the last packet of pasta is going to make some meatballs. So some will be for dinner, although kids have requested some of that beautiful savory mince with pasta uh, from last night. And some, yeah, some of these meatballs will become dinner as well. So tonight, I'm going to show you how to make meatballs and how to steam them in the Thermomix uh, using mince. But remember, you don't have to use mince when you've got a Thermomix. You can make your own mince with steak. Let me know in the comments if you need me to explain how to do that. So let's get started. I'm using the meatball sub recipe as a base. I'm not going to make the subs, I'm just taking the meatball part and I'm going to show you how to take away the tomato sauce because we're, we've packed our tomato, uh, tins of tomato already in the caravan ready to go. So today I'm going to show you how to actually figure out how much water to put in and how long to steam them for so that they can, they're beautiful and soft. By the way, steaming is the best way to make tender meatballs. If you oven them or you fry them, they're going to go dry, which does not make for snack meatballs be very nice because they're kind of then really crispy and dry, right? So if they're steamed, they're really soft still. So just a little tip, if you want them to go in lunch boxes or if you want them to go in a cold lunch, steaming is the way to go. So let's get started on this. I'm going to show you some changes along the way to this recipe as well. I'm interested in this recipe because it's also got some cheese into it. I haven't put cheese in uh, meatballs before, so I'm excited to show you that today. So first things first is some day-old bread. Now, I don't have bread, but I do have oats. So I'm going to put in oats, and I'm actually putting in the very end of my container. We are getting rid of all the stuff, or a lot of the stuff out of the drawers and the fridges and the freezer and the pantry and all that sort of stuff. So this is the end of the oats. I don't think it's 60 grams, but I'm just going to use what I've got, and that's the beauty of Thermomix cooking. So in that goes... 30 grams, that'll do. Um, you could put more in, I'm not even gonna worry. So just leave it as it is like that. Next things is some cheese, and it says 90 grams of cheese. So I've got some cheese here. Mine's just standard tasty, nothing fancy. Good afternoon, ladies. Lovely to have you on. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Denise. It's lovely to see you both. About the size of your circle dial. In they go. 74. I'm gonna run a little bit light on things today. Doesn't matter, that's the beauty of Thermomix cooking. Don't feel like you've got to have it exactly to a T. Chili. Another 10 year old set up for me and he actually got the chili out. You know what? I'm going to swap it for some Italian herbs. So, or mixed herbs, sorry, mixed herbs. I don't think they'll eat it if I put chili in it. So let's go with the herbs instead. Half a teaspoon. I'm just guesstimating as I do. So feel free to guesstimate in your thermomix. Now the lid's going to go on and we're going to chop this down. So on with the lid. Five seconds, speed eight. Let's spin that around and off it goes. Good afternoon, Margaret. Lovely to have you on as well. So next up is our egg. That is our binder. If you can't do eggs, you could be doing chia seeds soaked or some flax seeds as well. That would certainly work as well. So if you can't do those, uh, the protein in the egg, skip it and use another form of an egg, which is those chias or flax seeds are the most common ones. So we've kind of got a grated looking thing in there. It's not really fine, but I don't think it's supposed to because I think it's supposed to be textured. By the way, ladies and gents watching on today, just in case you haven't heard, Thermomix have a half price business kit on offer at the moment for joining our business. Now, a lot of you guys watching have a TM6, so you don't need a Thermomix, you've already got one. So it would cost you $62.50 to join the business at the moment. If you're interested, reach out. I'd love to give you the information and I'd love to mentor you to set up your own Thermomix business. Seven and a bit years doing this and I love it. But the thing that really makes me excited, besides helping you get more out of your Thermomix, is actually helping you learn how to set your own business up and make the most of it. So if that's something that sparks a bit of interest in you, reach out, send me a DM, a PM, uh, or go to tmxingadventures.com.au. I think I've got a little join up the top in the menu. You can have a read over the overview of what it is to become a consultant. But now's the time. Because in that $62.50, you're going to get a travel bag for your Thermomix worth a hundred and something dollars. You're going to get a thermo server. It's up the back there. You're going to get the thermo mat, and then you're going to get an apron and your name badge and all the stationery you need. So, and the training. And you get me as well. So, I feel like buying a Thermomix, except I get to mentor you how to do your business, which is pretty cool. So, if you're interested, 
reach out. I'd love to help you see if it's right for you, number one, and number two, uh, get the most out of the business, you know, so you actually see how it goes for you. So let me know if that's something that is of interest to you. Next thing is some water, which I thought was really interesting in this recipe. I am going to cut it a little bit short because the next step is salt. And you guys know that instead of salt, I put stock, but stock is liquid and salt is powder. So I'm actually going to pull it back to 100 grams of water, but also actually maybe I go 90 because remember I didn't have enough of the oats either. So let's go 90 grams if I can. Okay, or 102 it is today. Why not? 101. That's okay. There we go, one teaspoon of salt. So we're going to put in, normally I say four times that, but I reckon that's gonna make really salty meatballs. My normal go-to in meatballs when I make them with the meatball and tomato sauce recipe is half, is a teaspoon for the meatballs. So just a little note on that, maybe don't put in a tablespoon. Don't put in four teaspoons, which is a tablespoon. I think that will be too salty. Um, I mean, admittedly, we are not salty, salty people at this house. So there we go, there's a teaspoon, it's not, I know I've got a dessert spoon, guys, but it was the only clean spoon at the moment, <laughs> so that's what we're going with. So yeah, just a teaspoon, maybe a heaped teaspoon, but I would say not too much more than that. I don't want it to be too salty. You kind of can't undo saltiness. That's the problem. It's okay if it's under salty because you can salt your dish on the table, but you can't undo it. So on with the lid. I'm going to mix this around. Five seconds, speed five. Let's spin it up. Oh, I haven't got my eggs in there. Hang on. I forgot. I talked about egg before and I forgot to put it in. None of you guys told me. Hang on. It's still sitting here in its jar. Let's put the egg in. Otherwise, it's certainly not going to bind. Let's finish that step. It was five seconds to be five. Let's have a finish. All right. So now we've got a slushy mess in there because now we need to add our mince. If you were doing steak... Okay, so with steak, you can certainly use rump or rib. Just cut off the fat, cut out the sinew, and dice it up into chunks. It can even be frozen. And what you'll do from here is you'll use turbo. And you know, usually it takes three to five goes of turbo, depending on how your texture of your steak is. Fresh steak, three turbos. Um, frozen steak, five turbos. And that's all you'll need. But obviously, we've got mince today, because this is my mince that's defrosted itself. So we're just going to put that in there. Break it up a little bit so that it doesn't all sit on the top of the blades. And, okay, that was the lid weight backwards. I didn't reset the scale. So I think it's probably about 400 grams. Let's just put the lid on and see. Yeah, 467 grams. There you go. I with the lid again. And 10 seconds reverse speed force. It's not chopping up this time. It's just mixing through. So let's let that mix through. <laughs> And that's long enough. Unless you want it really pasty, use your intuition and stop it early, okay? Otherwise, you are going to end up with super pasty. Yeah, that's combined. That's enough. You'll end up with super pasty um, meatballs, which you don't really want. Gives you a little video on the TM6 of how to roll it, just in case you need to see that. I'm not going to roll them on screen for you at the moment, but I'm going to show you the next step. Put it into your Varoma dish. My dish is back here, so the big bottom one. Just put it aside for the moment. So, I'm just getting the rest of that mint out so that it doesn't stick onto the bottom and cook on there. Oops, there's one more chunk. There we go. So normally you'd roll them, okay? But what I would say to you guys, if you want to be more time efficient, is go straight on. Because there are times in the tomato sauce recipe, so clean a mixing bowl, then it's got onion. I'm not doing this butter, chop it, for, oh, actually it actually doesn't say chop it, go back, what did it do, it doesn't chop it, cut into eighths, so it's actually getting you to cut your, your onion into strips instead of normally cutting it in just in half, and it's going to cook it off, so this here, that five minute cook time, if you are making tomato sauce, that's your time to be more efficient and roll your meatballs, so that then saves you rolling them and then coming back to your recipe. Now we're going to skip this. We're actually going to put steaming water in. Normally tomato sauce goes in, or I would be using tin tomato. Some more, uh, vinegar, some sugar. Be yummy, I reckon. Some water. It says mustard. Worcestershire sauce. 
and Varoma goes on top. So it's got a beautiful tomato sauce recipe underneath, which later on actually becomes, in your meatball subs, it becomes a sauce over the top. Now what I want to do is I actually want to just go with water because I'm steaming these to be finger food. So how much do we need? Well, if you're cooking things with steam for underneath half an hour, you need about half a litre or underneath half a litre. Okay, so half an hour of cooking, half a litre of water. One hour of cooking, one litre of water. And then if you need 99 minutes, so an hour and a half, plus a little bit, uh, it's a litre and a half. That's how you can figure out how much liquid you need because it's going to evaporate on the way. So there's little dots up the back of your bowl and you can just look in and see where you're going to. So I'm going for about the 500 mil mark up the back. It's not going to take half an hour to steam these though. These are going to take about 15 minutes. So I'll cut one open at the 15 minute mark and I may extend it by a couple of minutes if necessary. So what we're going to do though is it's going to take time to heat up. So I can go next. Secure the varoma and set aside. It's got 10 minutes. It's going to take about six to 10 minutes. Oh, no, it takes it's about six minutes on a TM6 to heat up. So I can get that heating while I roll my meatballs. It is super time efficient to do so. So there's some ways that you can save time in your kitchen doing it in the steps of the recipe rather than adding it on at the end. So I'd love to know in the comments, have you given this recipe a go? Let me know what you thought. I'd also love to know if you're interested in the business, let me know. I'd love to put you in touch with the rest of the information so that you can decide if it's right for you. We have a business information session online tomorrow night, Wednesday night, yeah, tomorrow night. So if you want to learn about what else there is to the business, let me know. I'd love to give you that information. Uh, and let your friends and family know that there's a price rise coming. On the 20th of the month, uh, the price will change. We don't know what to yet. I haven't the foggiest. So don't, I can't even guess. I have no idea to go off. So if they've been thinking about a Thermomix, now's the time to start making a move on it because it will go up. It's not going down. It's going up. So now's the time to save money on that. And it's coming with a free bread tin and Thermomat as well, which is a really nice added bonus. You guys watched me last week make breads. Um, so let them know that that is something for free when they're getting a Thermomix this month, which is very generous of Thermomix in Australia. So I am going to roll the meatballs before this water gets too hot. You can see the little temp there. It's 55 degrees, not enough to create steam yet, uh, but certainly getting warm. Have a great afternoon. Tomorrow night, I will be in my caravan, hopefully coming to you from Caloundra to start off with. So we have a couple of nights at Caloundra before we head off into the bush. Uh, so I will see you there. I am here to still help you get more out of your Thermomix. So please don't ever hesitate to reach out, let your friends and family know, feed them your amazing food from your Thermomix and talk about how easy life is with your Thermomix on the bench so that when they're ready uh, to get a Thermomix, we can help them do so. But otherwise, guys, take care. I will see you tomorrow night. I look forward to seeing you then and let me know if you've got any questions. Bye for now, guys.